Welcome to another unit in this Excel course. In this unit, I'm going to talk about how we can use Excel in the context, for example, of um, mathematical optimization to realize some kind of Monte Carlo simulation. Well, what do I mean by this? Well, in the typical optimization problem, here, the profit structures so the values, how much profit I get for good one or two, or my available resources, my requirements, they're more or less fixed. However, that's not necessarily the situation always. Could be that, or usually is the case, that they are flexible, that they are fluctuating. So whenever I want to know what actually my chances are to realize a certain profit, then I need to know different scenarios with different structures for the profits, the available resources and the demand. And well, that's where Monte Carlo simulation comes into play. So for example, instead of using the fixed values here, what I could do is more or less run a simulation where I say, okay, this value here actually is not 200, but this is more or less a variable, let's say random variable, which is following a rectangular distribution with values somewhere between 180 and 220. So it's an um, uniform distribution, but as I only have this uh, discrete values, I could call this rectangular. The same thing applies for this one. This is also uniformly distributed. Here in this case, let's say with values between 400 and 540. And the demand down here That's something oops, friend between, let's say 15 and 25 as at minimum. On the other hand, I could, for example, add here for my profit, a value of, let's say, normally distributed variable. Here I would go with norm inf. Then I can say profit, uh, probability. Well, probability, this should be a value between 0 and 1. So here I can just select a random variable. Then I select a mean that's at 200 and a standard deviation of, let's say, 2. It's fluctuating, but not this strongly. So I get continuously new problems if I update this. So I can also solve this with the new values. So if I click solve here, get new value. First off, I get a problem if I try to use the simple simplex solution for this because the random variables are not linear functions. So I have to switch this to the GRG nonlinear. Then he finds a solution then I can copy this value for the solution, put this, down Oops. put this down here as a value, then change the variables, solve the problem again. Problem is always update, so I just disregard this for the moment. So I can do this quite often. Here I'm not actually doing this as often as I should because usually Monte Carlo simulation would require me to run this like 1,000, 10,000 times. But I can do the same stuff which I did here by hand also by using VBA and in VBA the Excel solver. So I can put the whole problem into the solver and run this over and over and over again, giving me here quite a lot of values, which then 
I can use to estimate their distribution. When I know their distribution, I can also calculate first off my mean. So what's my expected profit? I know that in 50% I will be below my expected profits. 50% I will be above if it's symmetrical. So I can first get an idea whether this is actually symmetrical. If not, I have to calculate the expected value differently. And I can select critical values. So for example, what is the profit? So let's say the lower bound for the profit where I won't be below with a, a percentage of 5%. So like a 95% confidence interval, one-sided confidence interval for my profit. Then I have like a lower bound for the profit. Same thing can be done for the upper bound. What is like the profit value where I supposedly with a chance of 95% won't be larger than. This gives me like my best case, my worst case scenario and my trend scenario with the mean. So this helps me a lot to get a better understanding how my situation, my plan will actually turn out. Well, as I said here, I could do this by hand. This would be very tedious work because I always have to update this, run the solver again, do this again. If I do the same stuff with VBA, this actually works pretty fast and pretty well. So I can easily, in a few minutes, run like 10,000 optimization problems, get 10,000 values, and then report them in my Excel file and use them for additional analysis. That's then what I refer to in this context as Monte Carlo simulations. So I use distributions for specific inputs and then use the model to actually estimate the distribution of the output variable. And well, obviously I shouldn't just, as I did here, say, yeah, this lies somewhere there between this and this and somewhere between this and this. This should come from data I have. So I should collect a lot of data on, for example, supply. How much do I have, did I get over a certain amount of times? Then take a look. What distribution does this follow? Does this look like a normal distribution? Does this look like an uniform distribution? What are the parameters? So I have to do a lot of work before to just get the right distribution at this point. But once I have this, I can easily run problems like this. And well, that's basically all I wanted to tell you in regards how I can use Excel, Excel and the solver to run something comparable to a Monte Carlo simulation in Excel. Well, this concludes then this session. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, either on the optimization part or on Excel in general, feel free to visit the rest of this course or have a look at the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.